Hi, I'm Ben, and this is my review on IT Chapter 2. Oh, this is a scary, scary movie. Oh, and by the way, I got a new shirt. It's Spider-Man. I got it at Walmart. Isn't it cool? It's like comic books, but it's, yeah, it's Spider-Man, and it's pages left from a comic book. Isn't that cool? I like this shirt. Okay, so, um, ch IT Chapter 2. Um, so... The movie was really scary. There were some horrifying scenes, like, um, spoiler alert, just so you can know, spoiler, 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 spoilers. Everyone dies. <laughs> just kidding. If you're watching this, then you probably know what happens. Um, so yeah, well, what can I say? There was a lot of scary scenes, like, there was a part where they went to the China restaurant, the Chinese restaurant, and... There were about fortune cookies, and there was one of the characters named Stanley that killed himself so he won't face it, Pennywise. And then they were forming the the, the fortune cookies, and he said, like, Stan couldn't cut it. And there were these creatures coming out, and one had a baby face, which was disturbing. Yeah, there was a lot of children to this. Like, there was this one where that bully who was a sociopathic killer comes back, and he's, like, a, in a mental hospital, and he's, like, he's coming, and he's gonna kill people and that was crazy easy but the crazy part when coming out of the sewer and all these children's body parts were mutilated and it was really gross and i'm like i love children because i like children and that part grossed me out i'm like Ugh. i still liked it i just don't like those kind of scenes it's it's you know when you're watching a scary movie and you see a part that's horrendous like you're not supposed to like it but you like the movie, but you're not supposed to like those scenes. You know, it's like that. Oh, but what else? Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm just being silly. Um, yeah, but there are some bold moves. Like there was children getting killed, and it and it doesn't know if. Oh, that's my Looney Tunes clock, and it was Tweety Bird saying it's eight o'clock. Okay, so anyway, in this movie, there was a lot of things going on that was really bold. Like, there was like, children deaths, and there was this part where their friend Stanley was a child, but Pennywise made him made a sh creature out of him, not like out of his body, like created a clone of him, sort of like an illusion, and it and his head came out, and he became like a monster, and it's weird because it's a child, and it takes lawn it does lawn scenes like that like stuff that are really horrendous but just stays lawn there and it doesn't know if it wants to have a sense of humor or if it wants to be scary like it does a lot of bold things that you're like yeah this happens but whatever and yeah i mean it takes balls like it shows like children getting killed and it was really violent how they did it and yeah, and it was really crazy, like, oh, sorry, that's just something I subscribe to, and, yeah, and it's, like, and how, and Pennywise, Pennywise is always scary, like, he's just, like, an evil, scary clown, and the actor portraying him does a good job, and yes, here's the thing, like, one of the kids grew up to be, I forget, the actor who played young Charles Xavier in First Class, X-Men First Class, like, that actor, and he grows up, and he's a writer for a book and a movie, and they're like, I didn't like the ending, I didn't like the ending, and everyone's saying they didn't like the ending. I wonder if that's paying homage, because in the book, It, and, yeah, in the book, It, it's revealed that Pennywise is a spider, that's his true form, but here they show that his true form is like three lights and he turns to the monsters. But at the climax where he's supposed to be a spider, he's still Pennywise, but he just mutated his arms and legs into spider arms. And it's like, and it's, so he's not really, so he's more like taking a form as Pennywise, as like this mutated spider thing, so it's like that. But there are a lot of classic horror cliche predictable moments like you know you're like yeah everything's fine uh oh sh jump scare shocking thing happened <sighs> like one of the characters gets killed up and they're like like here's the scepter that can save people and this can stop monsters and you stab it and they thought oh it's been stabbed everything's fine but then he shapeshift one oh, and stabs the character it's like yay i saved the day yay Ooh, he's dead yeah it's cliche 
poor cliches like that that in a lot of this movie like there was this one with the door or those like scary not scary really scary and they're open doors and they're like uh, it's trying to trick us and they're like oh they have a kid and and there was this dog and it looked cute and I was like oh no I know this is scary I know this is scary oh but it's a cute dog Rawr, I'm a monster and they're like no let's close the door and yeah, it was revealed to be a monster. Like, they were gonna take it. It looked like they were gonna take an angle, then they're gonna do this, and then they're gonna be like, oh, we're scary. Yeah, and they do a lot of horrend. Yeah, they. But they defeated the monster, and it's revealed. Yeah, the, it's revealed the monster came from an asteroid, and he takes on fears to destroy it, and, it's, and it does like an Indian legend that tries to pass on generations. And. At the end, they defeated it by scaring it, by treating it like, You're just a big dumb clown! You're not scary! And trying to conquer your fear, and then... They took out its heart and squishes it, and squishes it, and... They destroy the monster, and the haunted house gets destroyed. But yeah, what other things? Oh yeah, the, the actors do a good job, and... Oh, it's interesting seeing... You know, it's interesting seeing the guy who played the main Stranger Thing kid, um, I forget his name, but Finn Wolfhard, that's the actor, but he played the character, um, maybe it's Mike, but he plays the glass kid, and he's kind of a crazy person, but he's kind of wild, like, hey, I in a, did this inappropriate swearing, I, I don't want to swear on my channel, but you kind of get it. But here's the th thing, I see a lot of actors who play Who's, I know this character, but he does this. I seen this with voice acting. Like, I watched this cartoon called Bravest Warriors that by the same people who did Adventure Time. And there's Wallow, but he does the same voice for another guy named Rad on OKKO OK, Let's Be Heroes. And Rad is kind of an arrogant jerk, but he has a soft side that's nice. But it's interesting to hear, because when he did the voice of Wallow, he was nice and thoughtful and fun and fun and caring, but here he's fun and caring, but he can be kind of cynical and jerky, but th that's the character they're portraying, and I'm like, oh yeah, and even with, in We Bear Bears, another Cartoon Network show, one of the, Panda, the paranoid crazy one, who's always on his own, who's, who is ex afraid and paranoid, but in DuckTales, when he does the voice of another character on DuckTales, he's a bit arrogant, he's a troublemaker, he's schemes, I actually watched DuckTales today, um, but yeah, he does that, and I think even Louis Duck, like, the blue, I, no, the blue duck, yeah, they even make fun of which one's Huey doing Louie, because that's kind of thing, because the blue duck, he does, the actor does the voice for Leonardo, and he was going to do the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog, another blue character, and yeah, they kind of do the same thing with that, but yeah, and it's a crazy movie. Sorry, it. It Chapter Two. It. It's a crazy movie. They do horrendous things, so I wouldn't recommend it for children. It's rated R, and if you're a bit squeamish and don't want to see kids getting real hurt, it's not for you. Um, yeah, I. I didn't really like those scenes. Well, it's kids getting hurt, so it's those scenes you're not supposed to like, but. Like, I still like the movie, it's a horror film, like, it has scenes you're not supposed to like, like, if you have a horror film, you're not gonna say, Ooh, I liked it when this horrendous thing happens, no, you just like the movie, like, I like the characters going, trying to face off the character, I like some scary scenes where they're trying to do this, and how they defeated the monster at the end, I like those scenes. But yeah, that's my review for IT Chapter 2, it was really scary, and really intense and I hope you enjoyed this review and you probably might see some new videos. I might do a new episode recaps of Spider-Man if I can find an episode. So, see ya.